why do China's billionaires keep going missing? In February 2023, one of China's high-profile billionaires, Bao Fan, went missing. He's not the only one to have disappeared. A number of Chinese business leaders have gone missing in recent years, including Alibaba boss Jack Ma. Why do China's billionaires go missing? That is the core question. Hello and welcome to The Core Questions. 52-year-old Bao Fan is a Chinese investment banker and investor and the chairman and CEO of China Renaissance, founded in 2005. Bao Fan did really well. He was featured on Bloomberg Market's 50 Most Influential. But just days before his employer revealed that Mr. Bao was, and I quote, cooperating in an inquiry being carried out by various authorities in the People's Republic of China, Mr. Bao vanished. It's unknown which government agency is conducting the investigation, what it is looking into, or where Mr. Bao is. His disappearance has made the world ask questions about the mystery, following the recent disappearances of other prominent Chinese businessmen, including the high-profile Alibaba CEO Jack Ma. Moreover, the disappearance of Mr. Bao has once again brought attention to the fact that President Xi Jinping is deepening his control over the Chinese economy. Mr. Bao's disappearance is especially relevant because China just recently announced a revamp to its financial regulatory system. Under this revamp, most of China's financial sectors will be under the control of a new financial regulatory authority. According to officials, this would close present gaps brought about by the fact that various agencies currently oversee various facets of China's financial services business, which is worth trillions of US dollars. Coming back to the missing billionaires. In 2015 alone, at least five senior business people became unreachable. This included celebrity businessman Guo Guangcheng, chairman of Fossen International, which owns the English Premier League club Wolverhampton Wanderers. Guo went missing in December 2015 with his company announcing after his reappearance that he had been assisting with investigations. Another case, Chinese-Canadian businessman Zhao Jinhua was abducted from a posh hotel in Hong Kong in 2017. He was formerly one of the wealthiest persons in China. Billionaire real estate magnate Ren Zhizheng disappeared in March 2020 after labeling Mr. Xi a clown for how he handled the pandemic. At a one-day trial later that year, Mr. Ren was found guilty of corruption and given a sentence of 18 years in prison. Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, was the missing billionaire with the most media attention. In late 2020, Ma disappeared after castigating the nation's financial regulations. Jack Ma made headlines because he has not been accused of any crimes. Though there have been alleged sightings of Mr. Ma in Australia, Thailand, and Japan recently, in the last week of March, Jack Ma finally returned to mainland China after a year's absence. The day after he resurfaced, it was announced that his company Alibaba would be broken up into six entities. The Chinese government justifies its actions on Ma and others by claiming that it is eradicating corruption. This is a response to decades of liberalization in what is now the second largest economy in the world. The Chinese Communist Party now wants that control back under Xi Jinping today and is working towards this goal in methods that are kept top secret. Xi Jinping's shared prosperity agenda has resulted in a significant crackdown across a significant portion of the economy, with the technology sector receiving particular attention. China insists that the goal of the program is to reduce the growing wealth disparity, which is widely acknowledged as a significant problem that, if left unattended, may weaken the Communist Party's position. Therefore, Xi Jinping is taking severe measures. A new financial watchdog was also announced in February 2023. Bankers were cautioned not to emulate their, and I quote, hedonistic Western colleagues. What remains unclear is whether Xi Jinping's stringent measures will actually work and let him considerably tighten his hold on authority. Please share this video to those that need to see it and like and share as well. Thanks for watching the core questions by The Times of India. Until next time, this is Priyanka Deo signing off. Namaste.